A lot of parents struggle with in the holiday time. How much is too much when it comes to those Christmas gifts for kids? Bianca Goladriga talked to one mom who sparked a debate with her argument for spoiling her son at holiday time. Fire truck! Oh boy, that's mine! This scene from the classic movie A Christmas Story, kids ripping open gifts galore, wow. is a scene many parents try to avoid recreating. Wait. But this holiday season, one mom is buying her kids whatever they want, and she doesn't feel bad about it. Walking down the toy aisle is really hard because she just wants, she wants everything. I see how excited she gets, and you know, as a parent, you just want to give your kids everything. Liz Len says all year long, she and husband David say no to extravagant gifts and spend 364 days a year teaching their two children to appreciate what they have and the importance of helping others. So Christmas is the one day a year when she gets to say yes. You know, if your whole year is about restraint and lessons, then Christmas might be a nice time to have gifts. Other families have their own holiday giving strategies. President Obama and First Lady Michelle say Sasha and Malia are allowed to ask for three gifts apiece, while Full House alum Candace Cameron Bure takes her kids to a homeless shelter to serve food. So is there a right answer to the great gift giving debate? I think the most important is for families to think about what is it we really want to focus on. Is it empathy? Is it gratitude? Is it compassion? And then what are the strategies we're going to have to help develop that in our kids? For Good Morning America, Bianca Goladriga, ABC News, New York. A lot of strong feelings about this when we <laughs> asked our viewers about it. Risa tweeted, really bad idea. We spoiled our son and now at 18 it is difficult to change him. Mm -hmm. Another viewer said, I told my kids that Christmas is literally, literally year round for them. We buy them things throughout the year and Christmas is just a big plus. And then Donna tweeted, less is more. We have to teach our children what Christmas is all about. It's not about who gets more gifts or how much it costs. Mm -hmm. So a lot of things there. Let's talk to Erica Suter about it. She's from the stir.com. And, and fa every family handles this in a slightly different way. Yeah. Well, we're finding that a lot of parents are either going crazy buying out the whole store or they're trying to limit it this year. Like you get one really special gift, whether it's a tablet or a smartphone, and then little stocking stuffers. So that's what we're seeing this year. People are trying to take it back. They're they're not, they don't want their kids growing up to be these entitled, spoiled little monsters, because that's what we're dealing with these days. Yeah, and you hate that feeling under the tree by, by uh, half an hour in. Present fatigue. From yeah, yeah, yeah. And what yeah. Can't appreciate the any part well, of it, it's you know. It's so hard for parents to say no because I, I'm even guilty of this. I was in the store yesterday and I'm buying these things that my son loves. He's five, and I get up to the register and the clerk says, "Oh, how many kids is this for?" And I oh, felt oh, so bad. No. <laughs> I said, "Oh, one," but I'm buying for his friends too. I was making yeah. excuses in the line, so I've decided to take some back because of that. And you know what? I think it's interesting because when you have one child, it might be harder. I, I have to buy for five, and so I actually have mm -hmm. to keep it yes. simple yeah. and so I'm just like you know what I can't go crazy because I'll go crazy and so mm -hmm. by that ex you know to exact make recipe even, right? I just have to make it simple all of my kids ask for iPads none of them are getting them wow. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. and that breaking news, kids. There has to be something that they have to be aspire to attain I think still right. at a certain point yeah, and a lot of parents have issue with the fact that the message of Christmas is getting lost yes. in all this gift buying kids don't really know what the season is about they're not thinking oh it's about being with family and having fun and togetherness they're like give me give me, give me more, more, more. Right. That's a good strategy. So many parents can't, don't have to have this conversation. They can't, they simply cannot afford right. to, mm -hmm. to yep. overindulge. Right. What is a good stra strategy for all of us? I think it's just not, not going crazy. Teaching your kids that Christmas is about having fun. Yes, you'll get a present that you want, but that is not really what the season's about. It makes it easier for all of us. Mm -hmm. I it's about it. giving. Yeah. It's the season of giving. Yep. It's the same. All of my Kindness kids buy each other love. gifts too with their That's own money. Right. I think That's it's good. important. That is. Mm -hmm. Great mm -hmm. advice. Thank you so much.